time for another 80s tournament matchup. We got Trevor Burbick versus Gary Mace. Get it started. So we got to do their lifestyle and pre-fight training first. So let's roll on uh, Trevor Burbick. His LS, his lifestyle is A5. So, uh, three dice. And we get a 432. And his is inconsistent shape. So 432 will be in the PF3, PFT3. Inconsistent shape. Let's go down to PF3, PFT3. pre fright training condition is normal. No change. So he stays there. Let's do uh, Gary Mason now. He rolls a 631. He has a uh, lifestyle of one, so he stays in shape. 631. That will be PFT4. Go down here. His uh, condition is great. Add one to the fighter's TR rating for the match. So he goes up to a six. Let's set up the scorecard. Place TR in the groove round. So his talent rating goes into the groove round of two. That's when he starts filling it. And we'll put the seven there. And that means he drops down in the first one a six. And then his stamina is the eighth round, so he goes seventh all the way down, and then he tires after. In the eighth round, he'll start tiring. And then we go to uh, Gary Mason. His is a six, and his groove round is the first round, so he starts right off at the get-go. And then his stand was the eighth round too, so this should be a good matchup here today. They're both part pretty even. And then he's gonna drop off five, three, two. Okay, so now we got the judge card. And we roll three D six and you add those together to get the judges. Let's roll that first. We get a, a eight. That's gonna be Judge Jeff, no bias. So we put that down in here. Let's go to Judge Three now. Row. We, we get a eleven fifteen. That's gonna be Judge M. Let's see what his bias is. His bias, Judge M, popularity fighter, is going to go to Merit. That would be the first bias, so it's going to go to Mason. So we'll put that, and then he's for Mason. And then it says Mark the Stand on Round. We did that already, so we filled out for both fighters. Now it's time to start the fight. What we do now is red will be Burbick, four will be Mason, whoever's got the control, higher control. With the added two dice, with the one dice apiece, gets the control. So he's got a six, that'd be 12. He's got 14, so Burbick will be uh, in control. And his overall record is 49 and 11 with 33 KOs. And Mason is 37 and 1 with 34 KOs. All right, so we roll one die to find out where he's going to be fighting on the chart over here. We'll use a red die four. A row of two to four means the pace of the round will be normal. So we go to the normal chart section right here. We roll another die. We get a five. So he's going to get plus two to his punches. So now we go to the chart. And this is our heavyweight chart here. Take the TR rating, which is a six. And then we roll the three die, add those together. So Burbick goes first. He's got 12, 16, down to six. To number 16, which is a good row. 26, so he gets 28. Hopefully this ain't over already. Mason's turn now. He's got a six also. He rolls a 12. Goes six, 12 will be a 22 so that's going to be a four punch difference now we go to the judge scoring and 49 punches land a 10-9 round with, for the one who has the most punches won 
The last remark is fighter has won four consecutive rounds. Check the killer instinct, which he's only won one now. So 10-9 for Burbick by all three judges. All right, let's roll for control again. Round two. So he's got three and a one, so Burbick's going to have control again. So the chart rolled the one die. And he rolls a four, so that's going to be normal again. Rolled again for the middle. And he rolls a six this time. He gets another plus two. Now we go to the punches landed. Nine, eleven. And he is a seven this round. His groove round seven, then eleven. Twenty-three, he's going to get twenty-five punches. Go to Mason now. He rolls a 10, and he's on a 6. 6, then the 10. So he'll have 20. And he's down by 5 now to the judge's scoring. So he's down by 5, still 10-9. He hasn't had four rounds yet, so 10-9 again for Burbick. Let's go for control again. Round 3, 2 and a 4. And he just beat him out by one, Burbick again. So Burbick gets control. Roll the one die again. He gets a six. He'll be aggressive now. Gotta move over here a little. Let's go to the aggressive section. Roll the three. So he's gonna get plus four to his punches now. So Burbick's got a 7 for his groove, and he rolls a 13, which would be 25, and he gets 4, right? 4. What do you got? Goes plus, yep, plus 4. So he rolled that 13 on the 7. That'd be 29 punches landed this time around. Let's go to Mason. He rolls a 10, and he's on the 6. 10. Be 20, so he's losing by 9 now. This is getting dangerous for him. Let's go to the scorecard. 4 to 9, so he's still in there. That's his third round. That's his fourth round. He has won. Next round it'll be. So 10 9 again for Trevor Burbick. Let's go for control again. It's a 5 and a 2, so that's Burbick again. Let's see, he'll roll a 5. And that will be aggressive again. We're just going to use the white die as it. Three. He's going to get plus four again on his punches. And he's got a seven for his talent rating still. He rolls 11. 23. That'd be 27 punches this time. Mason needs a high punch count here. He rolls a 12. The 12 gets him on a six. TR be at 22 so he's down by five again we'll go to the round scoring and that's five punches so it's gonna be 10-9 again so we got to go to the killer instinct chart because he's won four rounds okay here's our killer instinct chart And you take his cover up. Mason's is a one. And uh, Trevor Burbick's Killer Instinct is a six. So we go to six and then one. All the way down here. Let's roll the die. Is it two die? So the two die. So he rolls a six on a six one. And that's going to be a knockdown. The fighter losing the round was knocked down. Check the fighter's recovery rate and enroll on the recovery chart. Here's the recovery chart. His recovery is a 2. 
We roll 2d6. He gets an 8, 2. We go down to 8. That's a C. Fighter knockdown recovers and outscores their opponent the rest of the round. Score the round 9, 8, or winner for the fighter who scored the knockdown. No punches lost for the next round. So Mason, after being knocked down, comes back and puts the attack on Burbick. And instead of making it 10 8, it'll be down to a 9 8 now. Maybe that'll change things up for Mason now, but we'll find out. So he needs something to happen here. Let's go for control. He needs to gain control here. And he doesn't again. So Burbick gets control. Let's see what he gets on the first dies of three, which is going to be normal. And we go down to the one. He's going to get a plus three to his punches, and his groove is a seven. He rolls a 16, which is high. And he gets two more punches added on, so he ends up with 30. This could be trouble for Mason now. That's a high output. Let's see, well, Mason, he's a high punch total. He doesn't get it. A 10 and a six on a six. 10 is only going to be 20. This is bad. We thought he made a comeback after that last round after being knocked down. Let's go to the score. He's down by 10 punches. 10 to 12 punches landed difference. 10-9 fighter with the most punches wins the round. And it's two Aster Marks. It says go to the Killer Instinct chart. We go here again. His cover up is a 1. Killer Instinct for Burbick is a 6. Let's roll the 2 die. 6 and a 1. Down, down here, he rolls a six, and he is knocked down again. So that means we've got to go to the knockdown, uh, the recovery chart. And his recovery is a two. Let's roll the two die. Two and an eight. He's getting a C. So he gets knocked down, he, he recovers and outscores him again and makes it nine, eight again against Vervic. So every time he gets knocked down, Mason now, he comes back, but not enough to win the round. Because he's getting outshone this this fight. He needs something really to happen now. He needs he needs to get the uh, control of the round. And he finally does. Oh, he does not. He's got a 12 and he's got a 13 for Burbick. So Burbick's got control again. All right, let's roll. And Burbick gets a 1. It's going to be plotty, slow, and he rolls a 1. Minus 3 from the opponent. Not good for Mason. Not good at all. This could mean trouble big time now. Minus 3 off his afterwards. He's got a 7. Burbick, he rolls a 15. This is going to be devastating. 7, 15, that's a 27. Gets a 27, and uh, Mason is going to get a minus 3. He rolls a 13 on his 6. That's going to be a 23. That's going to be a 20. So, luckily, uh, Burbick didn't go too high on him because it could have been over, but he's going to possibly get. Let's go to the, the scoring chart. He's losing by 7 punches. Fighter with the most punches wins around 10 9. Yes, he's been knocked down four times, so we go to the Killer Instinct again. Burbick putting the pressure on him. Got two knockdowns already. And we got us a Killer Instinct of six and a cover-up of one still. And he rolls 11. 6-1, 11. That is going to be a knockout. The fight is over. TKO, referee stoppage. So it is over. It's just going to be a KO. The fighter is knocked out. Mason, after being knocked down two times the last two rounds, this time he can't get up. And that's going to be a win for Trevor Burvitt. Trevor Burvitt with the win. And... Mason gets knocked out here in the seventh. And Burbick will move on to the next round. Stay tuned for another matchup.